We are at week eight, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? When it rains, it pours. Philadelphia comes to Washington. Uh, they do have a loss, but still are flying high. Uh, no pun intended. And we are coming in this game limping. Will, what are we expecting, man? <laughs> First off, <laughs> FedEx Field. Uh, I feel bad for, for Josh Harris and ownerships. Watch it. What They're about is. to see what things are like when, when Washington isn't good and Philly is, and this is what Philly fans do. They make it Lincoln Financial South. And there's going to be a lot of green in that in that lower bowl come Sunday. The, the, the front office was already saying, well, we got another sold out game. Yeah, but you don't have you don't have uh sold out of all your fans. Mm. You're gonna have an invasion happening again. So it's gonna be tough. And if you kind of look at what Washington is struggling with, you know, their their offensive line moving the ball. Uh well, Philly's not the team you want to be lining up against. Nope. Uh their nope. their front four is one that when we say, well, what about our front four? This is one that, that I would be nervous, I would be scared about, you know, yeah. interior with Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, um, and Jalen Carter, pretty formidable. They will stuff our running game the way they did the you know the last time. Brandon Graham, Hassan Reddick coming off the edge, Josh Sweat, not good, mm. not a good recipe for no. us. Plus they've got they've got some shutdown corners and Slay um, and Bradbury like that doesn't help our our, uh, our our poor passing game situation here. So this is not a good good matchup for us right now. So this no. this is yeah I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, faith right now. But I will say this before we get into our keys of the game. It's the NFC East. You never know yes. when the, when teams get together. And we certainly played pretty well and pretty inspired the last time we were up in Philadelphia. So, you know, right. this could be one of these things where our bozos didn't care about the Giants. And so they thought we'd roll over them and didn't. But then they're getting really amped up to play the best team in the NFC. So they're willing to get get up for this game. So you never know. Yeah. No. And, and look, we we know Philly is as good as advertised. We've seen them week in and week out. But to your point, we're already struggling with rushing, and we we had over 100 in the last game. But it, I mean, it was by committee. You know what I mean? Sam got sacked five times, so that was tough. But they started slinging the ball around. They were moving it left and right and and was keeping us in the ball game but i mean look we played them twice last year we beat them when they were undefeated and then that first game albeit it was a different quarterback uh we looked awful and they put up 24 in that second quarter now mind you we shut them out the rest of the game but they didn't need to score and we lost 24 to 8 so i i too do not have i'm not very optimistic about this game um cuz realistically unless they are still dealing with a lot of the injury issues, unless A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, like these guys go down, unless Hurts goes down, I'm just I'm just not optimistic on this one. All right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm so, with you. 